All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Jai, Bashom Rachat Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Now, and of course, when I saw this video, I was upset, you know, because they know damn well we don't we don't we don't do any of that shit, you know. Now, I'm gonna do another video to this, to to, to this brother's video right here, Yashwamba. No, I'm going to do that video on my laptop right now. And I am currently on my phone because I am walking to the store in the rain. But yeah, you know, um, let's see if I can uh, fast forward it. This video. OK. Let's see what this. Uh, what this woman said here. OK, this right here. So this broad said. Hide your nine-year-old daughter from GMS men. Now, you know, like your brother Yashawamba said, you know, this, this is very slanderous. Okay? And not only is this slanderous, this is also bearing false witness. Now, I don't want to make this video too long. So, what I want to do is bring out a scripture because I'm here at the store right now of uh, Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in a day of judgment so every idle word that you say every word that come out of your mouth you're gonna have to answer for that in the day of judgment when it's time when it's time for you to be judged you can have to answer for 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 the slanderous words which you can have to answer for all of your accusations and, and your slanders, which you which you have said toward towards the men of Great Millstone. OK, now the scriptures say the simple believe of every word, you know, you know, you you people out there, you're so goddamn simple. Somebody will spread a, a simple rumor and then you'll run with it. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they, 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 you doing that. And this that for and it's like, you know, it's like you don't research anything. You don't inquire of anything. You don't make any inquisitions. You just hear something and then you run with it like a simpleton. Like a straight up simpleton. Okay. Now in 2nd uh, Corinthians, the 5th chapter, in the 10th verse, it tells you that we must all appear before the judgment seat of, of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. We must all appear before the judgment seat. <coughs> so, A, like the scriptures say, whoso shall offend one of the little ones that believe in Yahweh Shai, it had been better that they hanged a millstone around their neck and that they were cast into the depths of the sea. Okay? If you're a slanderer, a scoffer, you better repent because there's still room to repent. But still, making some some accusation like this, you could have to answer for this. Okay? If if if, if you haven't asked the Lord for forgiveness and repented, you can have to answer for that. You can have to answer for this, man. Okay? I'm talking about hide your nine-year-olds. But you know what? That's fine. Because you know what? Hey. The closer we get to the end, the more active these demons are going to become. All right, we've already seen how a demon acted through through this ninja wearing a do-rag down in South Carolina when he got up in the brother's face, right? Now, now we got a demon hopping on, on random bras, right? R random hoes uh, making false accusations on, on social media talking about hide your nine-year-olds, okay? Okay? And we're not pedophiles. We're not rapists. We've never done those things. And we never will. Okay? 
We're simply teaching out of the scriptures that a female becomes a woman when she passed the flower of her age, which is usually around the age of 12, okay? Why don't you research how old, how old Mary was when, 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 when Joseph had sex with her? Okay, there's many examples. Uh, uh, King David, when, 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 when he was laying down in bed and, and you know, he was so old that he couldn't get it up there, so they brought him a young damsel, okay? She had to been at least about maybe 14, 13, 14, 15 years old, you see? So, so, so how we kept our customs back in the ancient world is far different from, from this westernized custom. The problem with you niggas is that you've been westernized you know, you, 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 you've been conquered by your slave master and then you, you've been westernized. You've been westernized and, and programmed to think a particular way. And you, you, you have become estranged to your customs to where when the gospel comes out, you become offended in it. But like Yahweh Shai said, bless is the man whom shall not be offended in him. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.